If you're in the States, you've probably heard the mnemonic device, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. This is PEMDAS, the order of operations, parentheses, or other grouping symbols, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Now, really, it should have been written like this, P E M D A S, meaning parentheses first and other grouping symbols, exponents next. Multiplication and division from left to right, whatever shows up first gets done first in the multiplication and division stage. Last, we have addition and subtraction. Again, it's kind of like multiplication and division where you go left to right, addition and subtraction, whatever shows up first. I know you're begging me for an example because this seems very unclear. I will hook you up. So we've got 8 minus 2 squared divided by 2 minus 3 times 2 plus 5. So the first question is, hey man, what goes first? Well, in this case, we've got this parenthetical expression, 8 minus 2. We're going to work that out first. We're going to put a 6. I'm a little crazy about parentheses, so I'm going to keep it in closing parentheses. You can actually drop the parentheses once you've done a parenthetical uh, expression simplified, except for negative numbers. I would always enclose them in parentheses just to be safe to keep you mindful of the sign, but I won't go into that uh, little tirade right now. Okay, I'm going to, everything else is a spectator. What do I mean by that? Nothing's happening to them. They're just hanging out and watching. That's what we call them spectators. Next, okay, so we've done the parentheses stuff. We kind of have parentheses here, but it's not like a parentheses, like, hey, like operation. It's just a uh, parenthetical term. In this case, now we're going to go to the exponent. Ooh, we've got this nice 2 as an exponent. So let's do something with that. Let's square 6. So that becomes 36. Again, everything else is a spectator, a spectator term right now. So, uh, oh wait, this is a plus 5. Man, dude, I wonder how I do it in an algebra class right now. Maybe not so good sometimes. Okay, now, <laughs> sorry, if we take this, MD is next. Multiplication division left to right. So let's do that. Multiplication division left to right. What is the first thing we'll do? And I'm going to take a few extra steps. I know most people like to do more than one thing at once. I'm not that kind of person. So do 36 divided by 2, I get 18 because left to right, even though you're like, hey man, there's a multiplication here, isn't it MD? Well, yes, but left to right. So guess what was left to right? The leftmost operation was the division here, 36 divided by 2 becoming 18. Everything else is still a spectator at this point. Now I will do the 3 times 2. I'm going to keep everything else. I'm not going to drop it. It's 18 minus, and then, oh, 3 times 2? You probably know that's already 6 and then plus five. So now we go to the AS phase, the uh, addition subtraction. Again, left to right. So first we have this, this 18 minus six. You're probably like, hey, I've already figured that out. That's 12, Martin. So then we just, you know, drop the plus five because that's a spectator. Now 12 plus five, ooh, yes, now we are done. We've done an order of operations on, you know, uh, on a scale of one to 10, about a level five type expression. Good luck, guys, and we'll probably do more and more and more. Order of operations, by the way, is one of the two most common messed up things I see in math. Signs is the number one thing I see messed up from algebra level students and above. Order of operations is the next, so we need to nail this process down. Good luck, and I'll see you next time.